Hello everybody, it's Tanya checking in with you again today. I am running a program called Midlife Reboot and this is one of the things I'm teaching in the class and we've heard about this tons and tons and tons of times but I cannot tell you how many times we need to hear it before we actually start doing what we need to be doing. So what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is that as we age, we need more protein, not less. And I'm gonna tell you why and what's happening if you're not eating enough protein. So this is why I really teach people how to build a balanced metabolic, or sorry, menopausal plate because it needs to have more protein and I'm gonna tell you why. So have you heard about the protein leverage hypothesis? Okay, so according to the protein leverage hypothesis, your body has a natural instinct to eat until you get enough protein. And this suggests that even if you eat a lot of food that have a lot of calories, but not enough protein, your body will still want more food because it's looking for the protein to function properly, right? And so essentially when your protein intake is too low, you're hungrier, you'll overeat, and you'll consume more fat and carbohydrates, all in an attempt to meet your protein needs. What are your protein needs? How much protein do you, you, um, you know, how much protein do you need on a daily basis? Okay, so you can look that up, or you know, you can come into my vibrant living, blah, 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 vibrant living academy, my my midlife reboot program, and I will help you with all this stuff. But if you think about this, it makes sense that when you consider the many necessary roles that your that protein plays in your body, such as providing fuel for energy right? So your body breaks down protein into what's called like their smaller building blocks. They're called, well, I'm having problems speaking today, called amino acids that provide many numerous benefits, including, okay, and stick around to the end. I'll put a link in the comments below so that you can pick up my protein guide, but, um, which gives you meal, uh, you know, recipes, meal ideas about how to get more protein into your day. So when you add more protein, you're going to feel full longer, which is going to curb your hunger and your cravings. It's going to help you repair, build and maintain muscle and muscle is your muscle of longevity. So I have a podcast, it's called Menopause Made Easy with Tanya on Spotify and Apple. And I have actually done an episode called Your Longevity Muscle. I can't remember what number it is, but we have something like 110 episodes now. So jump on to there. It is stacked full of information to help you thrive after 35. Okay, so back to why we want to have protein. It keeps your bones strong and supple. So again, I think episode number 678, somewhere in there, talks about osteoporosis. It is so important to keep your bones strong. It boosts your metabolism. So if you didn't listen to, di to yesterday's video, go listen to it. Increases your fat, bur bur fat burning capabilities helps you repair and recover, supports your immune function, helping you to fight off infection and inflammation, helps, um, gives you the, the um, building blocks for hormones and neurotransmitter, and it keeps you fit as you get older. So I know so many of you come to me, you want to lose weight, and we're going more into this, um, you know, what's really big in our culture, we're eating less, moving more, it's the exact opposite. You don't wanna be doing that. You really wanna focus on some key fundamentals, one of them being adding more protein into your diet. So if you are trying to lose fat, right? Remember, it's not so much weight. Really try and tap into, you wanna lose that fat, right? Protein should be your top priority because protein is a high thermic food, meaning it takes more calories to actually break down and utilize it in the body than dietary fat and carbohydrates. And as a result, you burn more calories, okay? So are you getting the protein that you need for your menopausal body? Um, I really like getting high quality animal sources. If you are a plant eater, you're just gonna have to be a little more creative 
to get all of the amino acids, right? So there are some essential amino acids. You can go look those up. You need to make sure that you're getting them in your daily diet. So have a look. Are you getting the protein that you need? Really look at this because a lot of times we look at cravings and we're trying to stop the cravings by willpower and discipline or restriction. It doesn't work. I've done so many episodes of this in my Menopause Made Easy podcast. What we want to do is add more uh, protein, nutrition, high quality protein onto our plate at every single meal so that your body is satisfied and it's not looking for carbohydrate and fat calories elsewhere to satiate it. So in the link below, I will put um, my link to my protein guide. I will um, put the five hacks to cut your cravings guide and you start to build all this information into your daily habits. And if you need help at all, I have a midlife reboot program. It's a 12 week program, which really helps you to identify where are you lacking so that you can thrive after 35. And we talk about all the things, the building fundamental principles. If you want to lose weight, if you want vibrant health, sorry, not lose weight. If you want to lose fat, which may affect the scale or not, but we're really digging into body composition. Okay. So thank you for listening today. If you know anybody that would benefit from this information, please tag them below. If you have any questions, put them below and I will see you in the next video. And if you aren't listening to my podcast, please check it out. Uh, Menopause Made Easy with Tanya on Spotify and Apple. Thank you for listening and get your protein.